Hi guys, I am super, super, super duper excited to share with you another activity that my mom and I once shared. Now as a little girl growing up in St. Mary, my mom was the seamstress in the community. That means that my sister and I, of course, we had to learn how to sew. Yeah, there was no getting out of learning to sew, so we had to learn to sew. And so our mom would give us a little bit of material, what she would call the scrap material. That's after you cut the material, then the pieces that left back. She would give us those scrap materials and then she would teach us to do embroidery. Now we started from learning basic stitches and until we get to more complex stitches. And so today I will show you one of the skills, guys, it has been a while, okay? Remember I said it has been from I was a little girl. Now I'm not so little anymore, okay? So, you know, it won't be perfect, but it's something that I can share with you. I am sure that like many of you, this is quite a nostalgic experience. Many of you who are Adventists like myself, we had to go to VBS. And one of the skills that you had to learn was embroidery. But trust me, we had one up on that. My sister and I, we had one up on that because we already knew the skills. Children who grew up in Adventist church and at VBS class, oh God bless Sister Hall's soul. I know she's resting until Christ comes. She was our VBS teacher and boy, we used to get a woman hell. Yeah, but she enjoyed every moment of it. And we practice our embroidery skills. Come along with me guys for the journey and I would like to share it with you. Remember, subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys. I know I'm not done subscribe already. Um, I encourage you guys, come along with me for this journey, right? I so enjoy the experience. I encourage you, please, to like, subscribe, subscribe, people. I want to go and go subscribe. I want to go and go subscribe. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, guys, this is the final product. Let's see how it all happens. You get a piece of material, preferably light color, because you want that nice, colorful thread to show on it. You're going to fold the edges and you're going to get your steam iron and steam them flat. Sometimes it does not stay in place. So in order to keep it in place, we're going to use some push pins to secure the edges. Keep them nice and secure so they do not move when you are sewing them. Get your color threads and you're ready to go. All right, guys, so I will show you how to do the blanket stitch. Yes, this is my practice piece. I had to practice, guys, to get this looking perfect. And so I will show you how to do it. So to do the blanket stitch, you have to pull your thread. I'm doing, I'm, we're working on the front part of the piece. So you pull your thread back and you're going to hold it with your middle finger. The folded area about three centimeters away from the last stitch you're going to insert the needle so it goes onto the back you're going to use your fingers to guide your needle to the top of the folded area just at the seam at the fold of the folded area so you put it remember your thread is to the back of the needle because you're going to make a loop around it so you pull push and you pull it right through and then you see a blanket stitch emerging again use your middle finger to hold your thread in place three centimeters away from the last one insert and guide it straight to the top edge of the seam thread behind needle pull your needle through and then the next blanket stitch will emerge. You continue to do this and as you practice guys, 
you will get quicker through the stitch emerge and see you have a whole set completed all the edges thought it was a piece of cake so guys so do your lettering get your pencil and your ruler form those letters so the edges nicely are completed with blanket stitches right around again i will insert the needle to the end of the chain and i will continue i will make a series of chains until the word is completed It was such a beautiful, enjoyable, and relaxing experience. I did a pair. Please teach the skill to your children, guys. Let them make use of their leisure time creatively. All you need, just a scrap of material, cloth, some threads, see them there? Just go in the dollar store, go get some thread. Those in Jamaica, no go down a Pigs or Pablo's or your local fabric store. Get a push pin. Um, get a cushion. Get you some push pins. Get yourself a practice piece, people. And of course, you're going to need your scissors. That's all to it. Thank you, guys.